Hi, I'm Xavier Kelly. And I'm Jacob Moser, and you're watching Panther News. HOSA will be hosting a blood drive at First United Methodist Church in Midlothian on Saturday from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Seeing in the Rain musical auditions will be today and tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. in the MHS Auditorium. See Mrs. Hallmark in room 411 for an audition packet. There will be a representative from our United States Coast Guard here today for lunch. If you are interested, see him at the Blue Wall in the cafeteria. The Gay Straight Alliance meets every Tuesday in Mrs. Agee's room, room 827, and provides a welcoming space for those wanting to learn more about the LGBT community. All are welcome. The cornerstone of the forerunner of the University of Texas at Arlington was found near a tree growing through it near a greenhouse in Arlington. The stone, which said Carlisle Military Academy 1906, was once some part of the academy, a private school for boys and a small number of girls that eventually became UTA. UTA officials believe the stone was once part of a cadet barracks on the campus, which was founded by James M. Carlisle and was open from 1902 to 1913. President Donald Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, and Manafort's longtime business associate, Rick Gates, will surrender today to federal authorities in Washington, D.C. They will be the first charges in the special counsel's five-month investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. And now it's time for the question of the day. Six square roots of x equals t. Express square roots of x in terms of t. A, 3t. B, 4t. C, t to the power of 3. Or D, t to the power of 4. And now for the trivia question. What car was the General Lee in the Dukes of Hazard? Is it A, the 1970 Dodge Challenger, B, the 1969 Dodge Charger, C, the 1970 Mustang Boss, or D, the 1977 Pontiac Firebird? And now to Caleb with sports. Thank you, Jacob. The Panthers took on the Summit Jaguars in a hard-fought battle between two physical football teams Friday night, eventually losing 55-35. Austin Thomas led the team with 90 yards rushing and two touchdowns along with Landry Songer who had 87 yards and one touchdown. Defensively, JT Cavender led the team with five tackles and Nathan Humphrey picked off two passes. This week, the Panthers host Red Oak for senior night. Tomorrow night, Panther Volleyball begins their playoff run against Burleson Centennial in Arlington. The Cowboys defeated the Redskins yesterday in a massive rainstorm 33-19. And the Astros finally won batting practice last night in 10 innings over the Dodgers. Neither team could pitch or field very well. The final score was 13-12, to 12, which puts the Astros one win away from the championship. That's all for sports. Back to you. And the answer to the question of the day is C, T to the power of 3. And the answer to the trivia question is B, the 1969 Dodge Charger. That's all for Panther News today. Thanks for watching. And remember to go to and go Panthers. Panthers.